Hey guys, I'm CMA Supra, and welcome to another War Thunder video, and here I am flying the Japanese Zero. This is actually the very first Zero you can get in the Japanese tech tree. It is the A6M2 at rank 7. Now, before I get onto the video, I do want to go ahead and say, because I finally remembered in a War Thunder video, I had you guys guess why I called one of my previous videos, one of my previous War Thunder videos, Dots of Death. It actually took me quite a few videos to finally remember to tell you guys the answer. So the reason I called it Dots of Death was because of the Japanese dots on the wings. That was that was the answer, which most of you got correct. So there wasn't too much anticipation, I hope, and I, I really meant to answer that in the video after that one, but I just kept forgetting. But I finally remembered, so that is a good thing. Anyways, going on to this video, I am flying the Japanese Zero, the A6M2, at rank 7 in a historical battle, and that means you cannot reload in the air. Now for an armament, this plane has two 7.7mm machine guns, and they have a thousand rounds, so 500 each. And then it also has two 20mm cannons with uh, 120 rounds, so 60 rounds each. And the 60 rounds each in a cannon is not very much ammo at all. You can easily go through that very quickly, and then you're just stuck with 7.7mm uh, machine gun ammo, and yay for going in circles, or not circles, but the barrel rolls, um, <laughs> and making you dizzy. But like I was saying, uh, there's not very much ammo in the cannons of this plane, and based on the title of the video, as well as what I have just said, can you guys guess what this video is going to be about? The title of the video, for those of you who didn't look at it before you clicked on this, was Zero Ammo, just to help you guys out. So zero ammo, and I talked about the cannons only having 60 rounds in them each. So this thing just really doesn't have much ammo or much killing power, because 7.7s at rank 7 are not very powerful, except on the Spitfire. On the Spitfire, it actually seems to be pretty good. I don't know why, but Spitfire 7.7s seem to do far better than any other 7.7s that any other country has. Actually, American no, Americans have 12.7s, 50 cals. So never mind about Americans. So anyways, uh, this plane, like I said, has basically no ammo, and I'm flying in a historical battle where I cannot reload, and I have to land on a carrier. Um, I have to land on a carrier to rearm because in this particular battle we're taking off from carriers, and if I want to land, I have to land on a carrier. And that is very difficult to do, although I, I have actually successfully done it twice in this plane. One of which, I actually didn't even catch the tripwire, the hook wire, whatever it's called, um, on the deck of the carrier. I instead just landed really slowly and came to a stop using the brakes, which I was really impressed with. Uh, so this plane is... it's one of the easier planes to land on a carrier with, but uh, anyways, that's totally irrelevant because I will not be landing on a carrier in this particular video, so if you're looking forward to that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just destroy your hopes and dreams right now, so you don't spend this whole video hoping for that and then you get disappointed by the end. I'm going to go ahead and just disappoint you right now. So, as we can see, I have spotted a P-39N, which is an American Era Cobra, and he will be an easy target for me in this Zero because I am above him and thus I will have more speed than him, but it's actually it's going to hurt me right here. I'm just like, oh my god, I'm going so fast I can't hit him. So I have to kind of slow myself down here, but I have more speed than him, and I can also outturn him because um, the Japanese Zero is very, very light, and it has no armor, so it can turn in 19.9 seconds, and that is much faster than an Aracobra. Uh, Aracobras are terrible at turning. I don't know the exact number in the stats, but they are terrible at turning, so that's all you need to know. It's somewhere in the 20-second 20, 20 turn time. So as you can see, I'm trying to kill him. Um, I'm landing quite a few hits, especially as he's showing me his whole body, which makes it easy to hit him. But look at that at the bottom right, my cannon is out of ammo already. I have barely done anything to this guy, and my cannons are already out. Now I'm stuck to 7.7 mil machine guns, and there's only two of them, and 7.7s are not very damaging. American aircraft are too strong for that, and I am very lucky that Bowfighter missed me. But at the same time, it was kind of skill. I know Bowfighter's rudder sucks, so I just knew if I turn to his side where he has to use his rudder, he's not going to be able to hit me because the Bowfighter rudder just sucks. Um, so as you can see, I am still just shooting at the Air Cobra. Damages of right wing, though, so that's great for me. He did end up stalling there, which makes it easy for me to shoot him, but it still wasn't enough to take him down entirely. So I'm just still shooting at him, using up so much of my machine gun ammo. 
cannon ran out a long time ago, as you saw. And there's a B-25 heading slightly towards me. Or it's more like I'm heading slightly towards him, but I think we can ignore him. That teammate almost crashed into me. I was already on this guy, and then he decides to join in and try to take the kill, but nope, he can do it. He's too fast, and he can't slow down, I think. Or is he still behind the enemy? I don't know. But the enemy is going down, and i got to make sure I don't get a the kill stolen, so I shoot a few rounds, but he goes down, and that is that. But if we look, or if you were watching the ammo counter, the machine gun ammo counter was already red, which means I am very low in machine gun ammo, and I don't have any cannon ammo left, so... I am pretty much a sitting duck right here with the uh, B25, B25s running around. Apparently there's two of them. So I can't do much, but I figured, well, I might as well just use up my ammo and then go back to base and rearm. But uh, as you can see, I'm not able to hit him. So I just wasted all that ammo, but even if I hadn't wasted that ammo, it wouldn't have made a bit of difference. Wow, I'm just really sucking at hitting this, hitting this guy. There we go, some hits, but I think I'm empty now. Yeah, I'm out of ammo, you can see at the bottom right. So that took no time at all, and this is not just a one-case uh, game. It is. This is what's happened every time I've taken this zero out for a historical battle, is it just doesn't have ammo. So <laughs> it doesn't have enough ammo, really. I mean, it does have ammo, it just doesn't have enough, so... Every time I've taken it out, I've gotten maybe one kill, maybe one kill assist, and then had to go land and repair myself. So now I am out of ammo entirely. I have gotten one kill. It was an Era Cobra, so I'm kind of proud of that kill, considering how weak the armament on this plane is. And there are planes guarding our aircraft carriers, and there's also an A-20G coming for me, so I'm kind of worried, because I have no way to shoot anything. So I'm just like, um... Well, I can circle around with this A-20G, but that's going to be kind of pointless, so how about I just work on getting over to our carriers, where AAA can shoot them down, and then I can land and be good to go, because it's not like I can shoot this A-20G and su successfully do anything. Something just overshot me, but that doesn't matter, my tail is gone, and I've been shot down by an F-4U, a Corsair. And that was the 1D, which has... I believe that's the rank 8 one. 1C is at rank 12, because the alphabet is backwards. Um, so, yeah, that didn't take very long at all for me to get shot down, which is, like, I've, the thing about most Japanese planes, all except the Ki-61, uh, they're just very weak because they have no armor. But the main point of the video was how little ammo this plane has. Now, the next one that I unlock at rank 8, the A6M3, has 200 rounds in its cannons, which means 100 per cannon rather than 60, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be good for me, so I'm highly looking forward to that, but this plane is just pretty much useless in our, in historical battles. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and found it informative, and enjoyed my little rant, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. I don't actually rag on this plane too much, I rag on the rudder of this plane. The rudder is not very good. Um, <laughs> that's really my biggest gripe with this plane. In all other aspects, this plane is great. It has great firepower, great turn time,